Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, but Ellen Fisher style. Um, I decided to do a video of breakfast, lunch, and dinner and follow Ellen's basically recipes, food plan, and the way she normally eats. So that's what I did. And I just followed um, some of her recipes from actually two of her ebooks. So I just tried some of those recipes and they were really, really good and we're really enjoying the recipes. Um, Again, I don't have a lot of nuts in my diet and I don't um, incorporate that kind of stuff normally and I don't eat that many fruits like I used to. So her style is a little bit different um, than what I'm used to because I'm more Dr. McDougall based so we eat less fruit, um, you know, maybe two or three fruits a day. She eats a lot of fruit if you watch her videos so that was different for me. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what types of videos you would like to see and I'll get them recorded and get them out to you guys. Um, it'd be nice to know what kind of videos you prefer. So I thought I would do a what I eat in a day Ellen Fisher style because I do own all her cookbooks and I love her food. They are very simple recipes with minimal ingredients mostly. Um, usually I've got everything on hand. Sometimes I have to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things but usually I've got everything. Um, she just you know has this simple way of cooking and the food is fantastic and it's very nourishing and you feel super full after and she thinks outside the box which i really like you know like i'm going to be showing you potato tacos later i really like that idea it's something different and it's actually you know a wholesome meal so if you're not familiar with ellen fisher i suggest you look her up on youtube and you will be amazed at her videos and the way that she lives and her philosophy and I just feel like um, she's just a great resource f for whoever is going vegan, um, parenting resource, homeschooling resource. She's just, she does it all. Um, she's just such a wonderful person and I pretty much think everybody loves Ellen. I don't know anybody who does not watch her and who does not adore her, to be honest. So this is Ellen's breakfast recipe. Uh, for her mango granola breakfast uh, bowl basically and it's super super tasty and it has all ingredients that most people have on hand which I really like I did not have the cacao nibs so that's the only thing that I had to substitute cacao powder for um, I feel like I do have the nibs somewhere but I couldn't find them so I used the powder and it worked out fine so yeah this is my simple and easy breakfast so if you don't know Ellen Basically, she is a mom of three with one on the way. They live in Hawaii. She lives as sustainable as possible. Um, they're hoping to live off of their land and they do eat a lot of the food that's grown on their property, which is amazing. They are vegan and she tries to be as healthy as possible. And she's just very, very inspiring. You know, she believes in gentle parenting and she homeschools and she's just absolutely fantastic. So I do recommend you checking her out on her Instagram, her YouTube, and of course her website. So how epic does this breakfast look? I was super, super full. I don't tend to eat a lot of fruit. Um, so this was kind of outside my comfort zone, but you know, I at one point in my life I did, and this was many years ago, and it kind of brought me back to that. Um, it was just such a nourishing, nourishing breakfast. I really enjoyed it. So 
So now I'm just prepping all my stuff so I can do my potato tacos, which is another recipe that she makes. Um, it's such a simple recipe because it doesn't have that many ingredients. You know, you've got your garlic and your red bell pepper and your potatoes, and you need corn wraps. Um, I guess you can use any kind of wrap if you wanted to, but we use the corn ones. And yeah, I just kind of put it together and it's one of those meals that everyone's gonna like and it's just nourishing and super, super filling. So this was a pretty epic lunch. It was super, super tasty. And I really liked the vegan sour cream. That's stuff that I don't normally eat. So a lot of this stuff is kind of like very different from what I normally eat. Um, I tend to limit my nuts as well. And I had cashews in two of the meals that I had um, Ellen Fisher style. So I mean, you're not having a ton of it, so it's in small quantities, but um, I felt like the sauce was really good, and again, it's kind of like a treat for me. So who else has been cooking up a storm since they've been on isolation? Um, I know a lot of people are getting a lot of inspiration and creating things that they never thought that they would create. They are sharing recipes, you know, like out of negative situations comes positive. There's a lot of people that are learning to go back to basics and they are learning how to cook and how to make hearty homemade meals. So again, there's always going to be something positive out of the negative and we just have to kind of focus on those things. So I'm just prepping all my stuff and I'm making um, the sauce basically. I'm just boiling up the potatoes and the carrots and the garlic so that I can make the sauce later on with a few other ingredients. And this is just her easy mac and cheese and it's from the kids um, ebook that she's got. And it's just, it turned out to be a really great recipe and it was super tasty and very easy to make. And I will definitely make this one again. I really enjoyed it.
So this meal was amazing. I will definitely make it again. I did add a little bit too much turmeric this time, so I will just add a little bit less next time just so that the kids can enjoy it because they don't like when things are a little, you know, too strong. And again, I added a little bit too much turmeric, but I liked it and I ate it up and so did my husband. So it was super good. I think after all this COVID stuff is over with, I'm going to make a huge pot of it and I'm going to have people over and we're going to enjoy a comforting pot of this amazing Ellen uh, Fisher mac and cheese because it's just one of those amazing meals that pretty much everybody is going to like. It is a crowd pleaser. So that's all I had today to eat. I didn't have any snacks because I was just feeling super full and these meals were all pretty hearty so I didn't even need to snack. And everything was super tasty and I highly recommend you checking out her ebooks. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and let me know what types of videos you would like to see and I'll get those recorded and out for you guys as soon as I can. Stay healthy YouTube fam!